What's good, tech family? Urban Tech Reviews, and today on the channel, I'm going to be showing you one accessory that everybody needs for their PS5. Stay tuned. All right, so everybody probably has this problem, all right? And when I mean problem, I mean storage issues. And by storage issues, I mean not having enough storage to put all of your games on your PS5 console. Everybody had that issue, right? I figure so. But today I'm going to remedy that issue. And how I'm going to remedy that issue is by using this and my PS5. And this is the Samsung uh, 2 terabyte 980 Pro. And what this is, it's a storage internal storage that you put inside your ps5 console and it will give you two extra terabytes of storage so you'll be able to put all your games on there i mean most people should be able to get all of their games on your ps5 uh you know on two terabytes i mean so uh i believe the ps5 comes with a terabyte of onboard storage and um i think it's like 667 or something like that that you actually get to use because they they have you know their os on there all of their stuff on there bloatware i guess you can call it which is necessary for it to run but they have all that stuff on there which takes up some uh storage space so that's space that you can't use and you're not going to be able to get back so this right here should be able to remedy it all right so i got this on amazon.com actually it was a christmas gift but it was on my list something i put on there um and i got it on amazon.com and it was 150 bucks oh no so uh basically what this does it says unstoppable speed it'll give you uh faster speed when downloading games uploading games uh boost your gaming storage and all the other stuff so what i'm gonna do in this video i'm gonna show you how to install this and i'm gonna show you how much storage i had when i began and how much storage i ended up with after i installed this stay tuned so you see on the screen that my console storage right now is at 667.2 gigabytes, all right? That's the whole console storage that I got right now. And usually I keep this thing plugged in, which is a PlayStation a USB. Um, this is like a external uh, uh, storage. So I won't have to use this no more once I install that. So, see all the stuff that I got uh, you see my storage right now let me write it down so I, I don't forget it 667.2 gigabytes all right so that's where we at and then I'm gonna show you how to install this and then we'll get you guys up out of here let's go now let me show you how to put uh, your a uh, new uh, storage inside of your PS5. Now, if you have um, the disc version or non-disc version or whatever, what you want to do is you want to take your weight like laying down like this, right? And then you want to spin it around. And then if you got the base on it, you're going to have to take the base off. So you will need a flathead screwdriver if you got the base on it. So let's take this base off real quick. Put your base is off, put it to the side, and then you wanna lift up <clears throat> on this corner and pull it back. Once you get this off, like that, you wanna spin it around to face you. So you will need uh, another screwdriver. So you'll need one small enough to fit this. This one will need a Phillips head. And I don't know what size these are, but they're pretty small. So this might be like a, a T9 or T6. Whatever you can use for PlayStation, you just need a small one like that. That should fit in there. And you see, that will unscrew that that out of there this lifts up all right so that's what it looks like when you got that out of there so then what you want to do is you want to unscrew this screw that's in there too and when you 
you unscrew that. You take that all the way out. Then you take your new storage like that. You want to turn it this way, facing that way where your, uh, your little chip part is going that way. And you want to slide it in. like that and then you want to take the screw that you took out and you want to put it back in right down here where you got it from so that's going to lock you in all right now you ain't gotta you know tighten it too crazy or nothing like that but now your storage is in you want to take this piece Put it back on the way you took it off. Put this back in. Screw it back in like that. And then you wanna put your case back on. And then we'll get into the next step so we can uh, check out everything and make sure everything works. So once you uh, install it if you installed it correctly then you should get this on your screen so when you get this on your screen you want to go format uh, SSD and then it'll take you know however long it take to format it you just follow the onboard instructions of the things that you're supposed to do it says tells you that the read speed of your M2 SSD is as follows if you experience any problems while playing a game install <coughs> M M2 SSD storage, try installing it in console storage, all right? So your read speed is 6,498 uh, megabytes per second. Hit okay. It tells you it's been formatted. <clears throat> and to change where your games are installed, it tells you go to storage installation location to safely remove your uh, MS SSD, M2 SSD. Turn off your PS5 first, all right? So now it's rebuilding the database and stuff like that. Now we're gonna go to my storage so we can see where I originally had 667.2 gigabytes of storage to what we have now. All right, so let's go to settings and then we'll go to storage and then we'll go to uh, console storage. All right, so you see console storage, I still got 667.2 gigabytes, but you see right here in my M2 SSD, I got two terabytes, all right? And um, if you click that and everything, you see what's in there and what's not in there, you can reformat it from here as well. So what I'm gonna do, and I'm not gonna do it right now, but what I'm gonna do is I'm going to uh, take all of my games that are in my console storage. I'm gonna take everything that's in here and I'm gonna put it on my SSD storage so I can clear up all or close to all of the storage on my console. So hopefully it runs a little more fluid. Not that it was lagging or anything before, but hopefully it just speeds up everything when I, I got it and I keep uh, you know, uh, storage on my PS5 clear and stuff like that. All right, so I showed you how to do it. Let's get into the final thoughts so I can get you guys up out of here. All right, so that was the installation of my new Samsung 2 terabyte uh, internal storage that I just put in my PS5. It's not hard to put in. It's not like, you know, something this this you know, gonna be difficult for somebody who's not used to doing stuff like this. This is it's real simple. You only need, what, two tools. Um, you need to pop your lid off and just install it. Take out two screws and you you in business. You know what I mean? Real simple. Follow the instructions after you do that. This right here, to me, is a must. You got to have one of these. And I, I just believe that a terabyte is not enough for me. And you don't even get a full terabyte. You're going to get 667.2 uh, megabytes of, or gigabytes, whatever. You're going to get that of storage because they got their crap that they're going to have on there. So you're not going to get that full terabyte anyway. So 
um i'll do an update video in a little bit a few months or so and let y'all know how it's running and how my games is running on there and everything like that but um I'm gonna transfer everything over like I told y'all I was gonna do and then we'll see how, how it goes. But, but it's Urban Tech Reviews. If you like this video or you feel like you got anything, you learned anything from this video, then click that thumbs up. If you're not subscribed to the channel, you can do that by clicking on the logo on the bottom right hand corner of your screen. You're not following me on all my social media sites, all that information's in the description. And until next time, tech family, stay blessed.